Hey y'all, thanks for checking out Euclid Mining. Today we're going to be changing the fans out on the L3 Plus. Now, I was thinking about doing this on the L3 Plus Plus, but I thought that more people probably have the L3 Plus, so I'm going to do it on this one today. Um, when I, if it does work well, then I will order more fans and we'll do it on the L3 Plus Plus. I'll do a test on that one and see if it does make a difference. Um, one of my viewers says that he's got these fans on this miner and he's got it sitting in his living room. Now, I will say he did also say that he had his power supply fan changed as well. But, um, you know, my power supplies, they, the fan kicks in, but barely. Uh, the noise, as you know, comes from here. So uh, this is what we're really testing. So we will be able to tell when this kicks on if these fans really make that big of a difference. So I'm looking at the NF F12 Industrial PPC 3000 PWM cooling fans. Uh, got the box here. I will zoom up so you can see that a little bit. Uh, I will say that the box is, uh, you know, kind of fancy. Uh, when I got it, you open it up and the fan is in it like that. So that looks really nice, but uh, I'll tell you what, uh, between uh, shipping and tax and the cost of the fan, uh, it's $35 per fan. So I'd rather pay less, and they could keep the box if they wanted to. Uh, that'd be okay with me. Because when I look at this, I've got this one to do, and that's $70. I've got six running right now, and I'm going to be adding the next two as I get those two fixed. They're sending the parts now, and that's going to be eight of these running. So, you know, you talk two fans, 70 bucks a piece, that's what, $560. Uh, all in and that's um, that's a couple bucks and if you remember I got right down here I got my uh, cooler and uh, this has worked great I, I gotta tell you this thing kept it quiet and weirdly kept it a degree or two cooler than it was when they were sitting out so uh, open air so this thing was amazing I, I had great success but I'm looking at uh, eight eight machines running and that's eight coolers stacked. So I thought, you know what? If I could get this um, working, I would be thrilled. So let's let's get into this. Let's uh, really start pulling this apart. Uh, first, what we're gonna do is we're gonna take the fans and disconnect them from the control board right here. Both of the fans were plugged in here. Now, I will say that there is a little piece of plastic that comes up, and it's where the fans uh, slide in here. I'm gonna. I'm going to go ahead, give me a second, I'm going to zoom this down here a little bit so you can see a little closer on this. All right, so let's, uh, let's look at this. So I've got this, uh, the, the fans are unplugged, and there are these little pieces of plastic that stick up on the sides, and on the plug, it's got uh, slots on it, so it, it slides down over it. Now, the thing with these fans is that on the other fan, as you can see with that raised plastic there, it's on the outside of each one, on the sides of the fan connector down here. This one, it's not on the edge, it's moved in a little bit. So you have to shave that off in order um, for this to, to work. So the thing is that uh, really when you're trying to put this on, uh, that piece of plastic that's back there blocks you. Well, when I was trying to take these off, and you have to bend it back a little bit to get the fan off, it snapped off. And then when I did the other one, it snapped off. So uh, the little piece of plastic that was on here now is off. And, and it was, it's because of that that the fan wouldn't fit properly. So really, right now, this should just slide right on no problem, and it's not going to be an issue. So. That solved that. I don't suggest that you snap those off on yours. I suggest you do it the proper way and just ease the fan off. I did not, I thought I was easing it off, but not, not, not clearly not uh, easy enough. So anyway, let's, um, let's go ahead and stand this thing up and uh, I'll put this on. Hang on one sec. All right, so that over so you can see that a little better maybe I'll zoom it out this time a little bit all right so here we are we're just going to go ahead and take these four screws off to get to the fan that 
that's it. So we'll take the, uh, the uh, fan over there. So uh, that's the fan. If anybody interested, <laughs> that's it. And like I said, on the connector, uh, the way that it is, the plastic is on the outside. So that's that. So I'm going to put that over there, and we're going to get the new fan, and we're going to put that one right like that, and then put the cage over top of it. Sorry, guys. Garage door is open. Uh, give a little more light in here, and uh, big truck went by. So anyway, um, let's talk about the screws now. So what we're going to do is we're going to put the, uh, the cage on top. Now, I do want to spin this around because I want this uh, wire to be on the top to reach over here. Uh, if you look at the fan, it does have a little arrow on it to show the airflow. It's going to be going in that direction. So we know that this one will go like that. Now, here's the problem you're going to run into, okay? So the screws. Screws are too long. Screws are made for this fan. And let's go ahead and put that one kind of back together with this one screw in it so I could show you where this one reaches. As you can see, that screw just barely comes out on the other side okay you they you want that to just catch this a little bit uh into the into the frame into the case is because um you don't want these screws to touch the boards inside if they do you will blow out a board and this is not this is not disputed this will happen because i did it i did it on one of my other machines was missing one of the screws uh, i went to uh home depot or lowe's whichever one i went to and i got screws and i got them that were too long and it touched the board and I lost a board. So I am down a board on one of my machines right now uh, because of that. So anyway, you want to make sure that your screws are short. So I went and bought some shorter screws and I kind of tested it there. As you can see how much shorter they are. All right, and uh, these are the ones that I got. Now do your own research, figure it out. Uh, this is the M4-.70X30, and I got these from Lowe's, actually. These are from Lowe's. Uh, I got two different sizes. I got ones that were just a hair bigger. So I got, um, these are the ones that came with it. I got ones that were just a little bit uh, shorter, and then I got some that were even shorter. And this is the one that I'm going with. It's a shorter one, and it's, uh, it's, it's these right here, the ones that I just said, the m 4 dash dot seven zero x three zero and those are the ones that i'm using but you you know you do your own research don't go out and get the ones that i got then complain make sure you make sure they're there you make sure they're good all right so we're going to put those like that we're going to put this like this and now i'm going to put this screw in here and i'm going to show you how much this is sticking out now on this one as you can see it's barely sticking out it just comes out the other side. So uh, we're going we're gonna to go with this screw. This is the one that we're going to go with. So we've got that. So I've got the four that I got right here. Dropping them everywhere. Okay. I'm just, uh, just putting them on snug. Again, I don't want to go in there, and I don't want the screw to continue to go down and touch one of the boards. Uh, I'm, I'm, I know I just said that, but I'm, I just want to make sure we're all clear on that. All right. Now we're going to go ahead and flip this over. And we're going to get the other side. Let me put something underneath here just to prop this up a little bit while I work on it. So, to recap, things that you shouldn't do that I did, I would not, um, what's up with this screw? Uh, I would not break the plastic pieces off that are on your fans. 
uh, or that are on, it's on the control board, I would shave them off of the fan itself. Um, I accidentally broke mine off there. And the other big one is the uh, the, the screws. Don't don't uh, don't buy the wrong size. You know, check it out. Make sure you got the right one. All right, so that just comes right off. That's pretty clean in there, I'll tell you. Um, these that I got are not that bad. Really, nothing at all. Okay, so this fan here that we're going to put on, we want the air to flow uh, this way. So the air is coming in through the back where your um, RJ45 is, your internet, and then it's going in that direction. So we want this fan to go this way. So I'm just going to has a little notch cut out in the fan for the wires to go in. And this is going to go on like that. So we will get those screws out of there. And we're going to use these screws here again. So there comes uh, 10 in a pack, uh, right here it's a 10 piece, so you need 8, so you know, um, depends on how many L3 pluses you're going to be doing, you do the math, but uh, I just bought the one pack today because I just have the one fan and I'm just like I said testing this out, I'm, I am really, <laughs> I'm really excited to, uh, to have this fire up today and to really not hear the fan. And that'll be something else, so. Now I will say that as I'm screwing these on, um, this fan is uh, very um, flexible. So I don't want to screw it on too tight because then the screw will reach in there too far. So I'm just making it snug. That's all I'm doing there. So, all right, let's uh, bring this down. I'll bring this back out so you can see it a little better. And got the connections for the fan over here so now that I'm actually missing pieces uh, I know that the part with the plastic that I needed to shave off was going to have to go on the back so let's go ahead and drop that down there and we will do the same for this one like that and uh, Y'all, that's, that's it. Uh, this is all you should have to do. So I'm going to go ahead and uh, plug this thing in. So let me, uh, let me pause this. I'm going to adjust the camera. I'll show it to you over here, uh, over in that direction. And, uh, and we're going to test this out. Um, and we're going to sit down here and let this thing fire up. And then we'll go upstairs. Uh, well, actually, we could probably check it out right here. Yeah, there we go. We're going to pull it up right here. So, All right, guys. So this is it. Um, as you can see over here. It is on, and I'm just waiting for the connection for the internet. It looks like it's there. not doing its thing. <laughs> well, it's not picking it up. <clears throat> I will say that. 
Let's uh let's try a reboot. See what happens there. Did a fan test for It's, uh, it's sucking it in. It's going from the back. It's pulling it. It's pulling it all the way up. So it's it's the fans are lined up right. So that's not a problem. So right now, all I can really hear is the power supply. Um, so that's that. The only thing that I can hear over there right now. But those fans aren't spinning much. All right, so those fans are on now. I got them on 90% right there. I mean, that is, uh, <laughs> that's quiet. But we're not mining yet. All right. There it is again. It's not, the boards aren't picking up. Hmm. <sighs> Fans are registering, <clears throat> both spinning. I mean, everything looks okay. I mean, all four boards, everything looks good. <sighs> well, I guess I'm going to put the other fans back on and see if if the miner picks back up or did I just blow something out. So um, yeah, let me go ahead and uh, and do that. I'll be uh, I'll be back in a minute. All right, so I am back, and you can clearly hear <laughs> the fans are back on. I got it hooked up over here for now, just waiting for the internet connection. There it is, it's up and running. So it just didn't like the fans. Um, we power it down. So in the end, the fan didn't work. And I wanted to show you two quick things before I sign off. One, this is the fan, just so you can get a better shot of it. That's what I am using. And uh, it didn't work out as well as I'd hoped. But the second thing I wanted to show you, which is, you know, questionable here, is black, red, yellow, and blue and black, yellow, green, and blue. So what I need to do is I need to look at the stock fan and find out what each one of these wires uh, does. And same thing over here. And that may very well be the problem. So uh, Daniel, I appreciate comments from the other videos and helping out with this one. And uh, I certainly will be picking your brain very shortly. Anybody else who's used these fans or has any maybe electrical experience, wants to give a comment you know where to drop that right over there i appreciate y'all i like those and of course if you haven't subscribed you know where that button is hit it all right i'll see y'all next time thanks for checking in